Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we will be hitting a man. That's right, we're back in Hitman 3. Oh, didn't realize I'd be hitting myself. <laughs> I didn't know I was the man. I think this is one of the levels I'm most excited for in this mission, even though it's just heading to gray old England. You know, I'd like to go somewhere sunny. I'm kind of sick of this weather myself in Ireland, but the level looks really cool. It's like old manor. Alexa Carlisle is dead. Also, that's their second name. I didn't know Alexa had a second name, to be honest. No, not you. You can shut up. It began here and it ends here. Talk about poetic. I love how this game has this big dramatic story and this, this massive three game spanning storyline. And then I'm like, <laughs> hit man with banana. Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Wait, there's a PI? Oh my God, there's an investigation. I could be the PI. Oh my God, that would be so cool. I could be like the PI in heavy rain. Maybe not a good choice, actually. <laughs> not someone you want to be like. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Oh, that's the PI. What? Oh, wait, why are you suspicious? I'm also a PI. My name is Giggles. <laughs> Giggles, private eye. God, it really feels like 2016 all over again. <laughs> We're just out in the forest and this killer clown is staring at them from the bushes. Follow the private investigator. Yes, I, I want to be him. God, it seems pointless having a gate there if you can just go around. Okay, you can't go around. I was wrong. <laughs> but look, there's holes. A brick. All right, maybe I can use this as a distraction. Come into the bushes. Come on, you're a private investigator. You got it. You got to be like, huh, what was that noise? Could be a clue. <laughs> Let's just walk into the bush. Thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Please do. If you follow me. Wait, does he have a British accent? Right, governor, I'm the P.I. <laughs> I think I can pull it off. How am I supposed to get to him? I want his outfit so badly. I really want to play dress up. I like my saves because they're all like pictures taken seconds before disaster. <laughs> Hanging out behind him on the edge of this tower <laughs> in the server room where they all came to kill me. Standing with a naked man in the locker room. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to try and go around and hook up with him later. Not, not in that way. Not in the like naked dude in a locker room way. Like I I'm going to find him and I I'm going to kill him. It really masculinely. <laughs> oh, baseball. Nice. I can say thank it's like, oh, I go not. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> My accent is just changing with every word. Saber. Murder most foul. <laughs> there we go. Now I've dragged him into my little area, but uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what to do with him. Maybe I can just hide him out here. Dump. Yeah, throw him out the window. Oh, this actually worked out nicely. <laughs> I somehow fumbled my way into being British. <laughs> the dream. <laughs> I don't even want, like, a meeting with her to kill her. I actually want to solve this murder or <laughs> whatever's going on. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick... Wait, why are you looking that way? Hold on. So, oh, okay. One second, hold on. All right, there we go. Oh, sorry, I have missed my marker. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. I get a butler's sidekick. Oh my God, this is becoming even better and better. Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Are you hitting on me? You're my sidekick, not my partner. You saw that picture of me with the dude in the locker room, didn't you? You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Oh, that woman is faking her death. Oh my God, this family is wild. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary. Adam Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. This is getting a bit wild. So the woman is faking her dead, but she's actually alive. And on the same morning she told her children she's actually alive, her brother died. Madam Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. Okay, and she's the one who hired me, so it wasn't her that did it, I guess. This is like a game of Cluedo, or a clue if you're American and you say the name of the game wrong. <laughs> a locked room murder mystery 47. This is awesome. I'm going to solve a murder. And then I'm going to make some murders. <laughs> Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body 47? Oh, but if they come in and I'm just taking pictures of the dead body, they're going to think I'm a freak. All right, confess. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? You took your own life. Press nothing or I to open your inventory okay all right let's get a cute little picture together wait i can't even take a selfie oh what's the point if i can't even be in the picture all right i'm gonna be honest you don't look great in this one but with the magic of instagram i'm sure we can get you looking good yeah your complexion is a bit off so let's make it black and white it looks all dramatic bit of a zoom there 
Bit of depth of field. Oh, now you're looking good, man. That's front page Tinder profile. <laughs> I'm dying to meet you. Anyway, like this is serious. Someone just died. I need to, I, I need to do this man justice and solve his murder. You know, I think he was a hardened criminal, so I'm not that bothered. Uh, I got distracted taking selfies of dead people. Okay, I'm supposed to be scanning like this. I, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. All right, if I killed him, I would have killed him with bananas or a snowball or something that <laughs> but like an, if a normal person killed him surely they'd use the, the the drink there to poison him what do we got here huh a suicide note how could he write a suicide note if he's dead <laughs> they're like uh, i think we shouldn't have sorted the price of pis low to high <laughs> zachary was shopping for new wellingtons last night not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal i don't know if that really holds up <laughs> but sure let's go with it like i don't think he killed himself so yeah let's roll with that logic someone who just bought new wellingtons couldn't possibly be suicidal. 9.99, down from the full price of 10. <laughs> wow. All right, this is a clue for sure. Hold on, I've zoomed in too much. The, look, the rug. There's someone on the balcony this whole time while I've been taking pictures of this dead guy. But like the rug is is tripped up. That's because someone came in here in, in a hurry or so, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm not a private eye. In fact, now I'm just getting frustrated. <laughs> just because I'm getting frustrated. I haven't solved the murder already. Oh. Good opportunity for a selfie again. God, I look good in this. This is hard. Can I just solve that murder instead? I know who did that one. <laughs> I think I've solved it. If I murdered him and I was still in the room, I'd be in here. Come out. <laughs> oh, there's no one in here. Okay, maybe they don't think like me. That's a relief. <laughs> Get on the jet ski. Go. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know how he knows that specifically this book needs to be pulled, but he's sensing something. Oh, <laughs> I like this. One way mirror, huh? Hmm. hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. <sighs> There's Somebody's something dastardly afoot. I'm going to solve this. A people. Ooh, that's kind of handy. Oh, I hope it's looking through the eye holes of one of the portraits. <laughs> oh, I always wanted one of them. And this leads out here i guess okay i'm out in the hall this house is big and i've lost the stairs <laughs> i'm not a very good detective if i can't even remember where i came from it was old age can i get paid yet right. that leaves madam's family and myself as the only persons here the butler did it w with the candlestick i bet here's the material that i prepared for you it's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters bit weird he's throwing them all under the bus what if it was the butler okay so i i gotta investigate them all and then have an idea who killed them before i go back to the butler and he'll take me to my target look at this this is like feckin clue so the butler doesn't have an alibi and i gotta go talk to all of these this is a cool mission i like it oh my god are these the suspects hello did you do a murder so i spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. Okay, well, she doesn't have an alibi. It was you. <laughs> Before I even ask anyone else. Wait, I think I'm getting it. Okay, so they thought their mother was dead, right? You with me? I'm a PI, so it's kind of hard to keep up. I know if you're a layperson. I think that they thought the mother was dead, so then the manor would have been left to the brother, but then they wanted the brother dead so they'd get the manor. So who's next in line? I think it was him. You know why? It looks like he's got a child's face just put onto an adult, and anyone who steals a child's face to wear it as their own, not a good person in my book. Zach, huh. such a sad old sod. Why are they all bullying him? The guy liked Wellingtons. He liked a good deal. Get over it. Like, if it made him happy to buy some Wellingtons and have a few plants, who cares? Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. It's Ragnarok. <laughs> Any newcomers to the channel would just be like, what does that even mean? Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Who is Edward? I'm going to play bad cop with him. I'm going to play bad cop, bad cop. <laughs> Just shouting abuse at him. It was you, wasn't it? I'm going to be inspired by Phelps when you like doubt and he just starts screaming for no reason. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Oh, I, I could listen all day. He pours emotion into that instrument. They're just fawning over this guy. I don't like that he's the center of attention. I should kill him. <laughs> I believe we went to the stack's head around half past eight. Can I go to this local pub? Because that would that would exclude two of them from being suspects if they've been there the whole night. Th did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? 
His plants, mother and the staff are all the company he had. That'll be us in 50 years when this lockdown never ends. No, <laughs> sorry, don't mean to be depressing. <laughs> It'll only be a few more months and we'll all be back to normal. Okay, so they were at the pub together, so that excludes them. I still have the other four here. Two... No, one of which I haven't met. I gotta find Patrick. What do we got here? What was that? Edward's notes for the eulogy is writing for his mother's pretend funeral. The handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. Oh, that's a good thing to look out for. I didn't even think of that. I know you're grieving, but I'm also like a part-time photographer and I'd like to send you guys an album of when this, this whole investigation is over. Um, it's up to you whether you want to buy it or not, but I'll, I'll send you some some slides and you can see what you think. There we go. I think I got all your emotion there. Uh, depressed, annoyed, pissed off with me specifically. That's going to be the cover of the, the album. Oh, you already have a photographer? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Being a PI is my job, but photography is my passion. Oh, we got footprints here. Footprints found on the terrace behind the sitting room. Huh. Oh no, dead body. <laughs> that, that wasn't me. Uh, he died of old age, I think. I'm a PI. I know these things. Is this more documents? I need a match on the hand writing people documents gathered by rebecca on recent movements of assets belong to the media branch of the carols oh my god this is so confusing they show a number of unauthorized movements of funds and privileges hmm ah oh, finally i found you the last person can you get off your phone you damn millennial you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now well i'm the pi if you feel uncomfortable you probably murdered him elaine give us some privacy what oh Fancy mop, it just folded up. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie uh, for an evening stroll. I like how he thinks a PI was hired just to find that out. Okay, if I find this rosy staff member, I can rule him out. But I'm getting no closer, really. I still have four suspects out of six. <laughs> I could probably check out that woman's laptop. She said she was on her laptop all night. Uh, maybe I can go snooping and see if I can find some history of her actually using it. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Yes, that is exactly what I needed to know. Thank you. <laughs> that was really handy. Now I just gotta figure out how to get out there. <laughs> There's gotta be a way in, right? Look at that, no hands or anything. He's just balancing with his feet. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last Okay, so she was actually busy. We got more paperwork here. Let me let me see. Handwriting. The handwriting does not match. Okay. I, I think she has an alibi. So that leaves it down to these three. I'm leaning most towards her, but I, I don't know enough yet. Let's go try and meet uh, Rosie to rule him out. Oh, my briefcase from earlier. I totally forgot about this. I brought it so I could keep my secret weapon, a snowball. Perfect. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. <gasps> Wait, what are they talking about? They gave something to the butler and something to Rebecca, and Rebecca doesn't know that the butler got one. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> Just run off into the gardens. Oh my god, this must be weird for her. Like, I know she's faking her death, but still, like, they're preparing the whole thing for real. <laughs> are you the magician for the funeral? Sorry, I've been to a few weird funerals. I hope I die in the autumn. Oh, I thought he was talking to the lawnmower. <laughs> I didn't see him back there. I'm wondering if that uh, office here where I first got into the building, can I get in here? Give it a bit of a search, but I don't have the keys. I could find a crowbar. I could break my way in. Oh, <gasps> fish. I was just putting them in my pocket in front of her. <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy to have my fish back. <gasps> crowbar. Nice. There we go. Jesus, they just sprung open. Wait, Mr. Fernsby's list? A list of what? If this is just a tier list of like your favorite hot sauce or something, <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. The handwriting does not match the note. Okay. Zachary's half burnt diary. Oof, good thing I got here when I did. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. What? <laughs> this is getting even deeper. The handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room. What if it was the woman herself? Could she have set up this whole thing and the PI is like a cover? Mansion master key, oh, that would help. I really wish I came in here first. <laughs> Lethal poison pill jar that's just in here? <laughs> huh, interesting. I, it's gotta be her, but. I want to fully rule this out. I want to be correct for once. Wait, wait a second. Are you Rosie? Yes, you are Rosie. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. When she looks at you, it's just creeping me the hell out. What is she doing? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. Is that the one I'm suspicious of? She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Okay, it was definitely her. My whole, my whole like, idea is is coming true. I, I, it was kind of a shot in the dark and most of it was kind of wrong <laughs> about who did it. But the idea was right. <laughs> 
feel like I could just ask for access. They seem to be cool with me doing anything, including like just stealing the fish out of the kitchen. <laughs> but I guess I got to break in. Okay, we got what we need. This is the poison. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Well, then I can just let that happen, right? Okay, I've ruled out everyone else. So by the process of elimination, it is her. But I want to actually prove it. So I'll, I'll go check out her room. Sorry, oh, I but I think I... Uh, right. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that was awkward. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. This is where I need to get into. I'm shy. <laughs> can you look away? <laughs> You're just guarding the door. How can I distract a maid? Look, something to clean. Maids love that. They love cleaning. Wait, I just had the key. I forgot. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I was gonna smash it open with a crowbar. Letter from Emma's mother. Yes. What does it say? Oh my god. Okay, the letter is saying that the woman I'm supposed to target and her late brother murdered Emma's father. So she has evidence that they killed her father. Of course she wants the revenge. There you go. Mystery solved. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. It does. The plot is so thick right now. I can almost hear it. Ah, do these match the footprints? Matching the prints. Oh my God, we have got her dead to right. Greenhouse keychain, huh? <laughs> we have everything we need, folks. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Yep, I sure have. I've solved the mystery. Oh, God. Damn it, I would stop bumping into you if you could just walk at a reasonable speed. <laughs> you're going too fast for me to walk slow, but you're going too slow for me to walk normally. <laughs> All right, this kind of works. <laughs> you okay with this? <laughs> All right, let me spill the beans. Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed. Oh God, I don't know if you should be accusing her of murder. There's a lot of people around with guns. <laughs> She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. I'm glad he said it, because if it was me, I would have been like, it was daughter. I found key and poison, and she is a bad person. <laughs> I don't think it would have been as convincing. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. No problem. Um, What do I do now? I'm supposed to kill this woman, but all I did was do my job correctly. What do I want, the case file or money? I'm kind of interested to see what money would do. Give me money. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. That was boring. I would like to load my game. <laughs> I want the case file. I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. She's just going to hand it over? They, they could execute me right here and now. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, now that I have solved the crime, I would like some fresh air. Please all remain looking this way. Just how you killed your brother. Oh my God, that was quite a bit of velocity there. She just went flying. Everyone, keep looking this way. Look, look at the funny man. <laughs> Hello? Come out now. They're just looking for her. Like, come on. Where are you hiding, old lady? God, you love your hide and seek, don't you? Oh, no. They all know it was me all of a sudden. There's got to be a way down off here. Oh, a convenient pipe. That's handy. <laughs> huh, you'd swear I knew it was there, but no, just dumb luck as always. Dude, you could drop off here. Come on. It's not that high. Even I could drop off here. All right. And now back to how it all started. Me being a clown. Now to the clown car. <laughs> 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit! You know what? I'm going to pretend I never got that. If they bring it up, I'll be like, oh, no, must not have come through. I didn't hear anything. All right, time to escape. Yes. Look at how cool he looks. Wow. <laughs> Imagine driving past that. Just a clown on a motorcycle. <laughs> Master of the household completed. That was really fun. That was a very cool kind of mission. That was like the most stealthy I've been in Hitman in feckin' ages. But I guess we are going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more Hitman because I am down to just play the whole thing. I love Hitman so much. It's it's just such a fun game and uh, just so creative and silly. It just suits me. I love it. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you as always, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.